Hi everyone, welcome to Max Plus TV channel. In today's video, I'm going to share the trending celebrities new regarding some of our most famous known Hollywood stars. If today is your first time watching, please kindly subscribe to this channel for more amazing content. So now let's dive straight to today's topic. His sword was exactly here. Tom Cruise was nearly decapitated by John Wick star Hiroyuki Sanada in $456 million action film despite his intense samurai training. Tom Cruise is renowned not only for his exceptional acting talent but also for his unwavering dedication to performing his own stunts. From scaling towering buildings to engaging in high-speed chases, Cruise's willingness to push the boundaries of physicality is unmatched in Hollywood. His commitment to authenticity and creating thrilling on-screen experiences has solidified his status as one of the industry's most daring action stars. Cruz's determination to do his own stunts stems from his desire to immerse audiences in the intensity and realism of his films. He trains extensively, often collaborating closely with stunt coordinators and experts to ensure safety and precision during complex sequences. However, Cruz has had a fair share of injuries while filming these death-defying stunts. I feel like I can probably do some Tom Cruise stuff, Sydney Sweeney's Madam Web co-star Dakota Johnson wants to emulate $600 million star's Daredevil persona in Spider-Man spin-off. Tom Cruise almost got his head cut off while filming. Despite undergoing an arduous eight months of intensive samurai training, Tom Cruise found himself in a difficult situation while filming his 2003 action historical epic, The Last Samurai. While shooting a crucial battle sequence, Cruz and Japanese martial arts star Hiroyuki Sanada were mounted on robotic horses, preparing for a climactic confrontation. Unfortunately, a mechanical malfunction caused Sanada's horse to veer off course. Bringing his sword perilously close to Cruz's neck, we were filming one day, and I was on a mechanical horse, and Hiro was on one as well, Cruz recalled. He was approaching me when his horse suddenly struck me, and his sword was exactly here. This incident serves as a testament to Cruz's commitment to realism and his determination to perform daring stunts, even in the face of potential danger. It showcases the risks he is willing to take to deliver audiences an authentic and immersive cinematic experience. Tom really didn't want to do another movie, Top Gun 2 director reveals Tom Cruise wasn't interested in sequel, proved him wrong with $1.4 billion box office haul as movie celebrates first anniversary. Tom Cruise has a long list of injuries on sets. During the mission, Impossible Fallout production, Tom Cruise encountered not just one but two injuries. These incidents shed light on the immense risks involved in performing stunts, even when executed successfully. Furthermore, Cruz undertook one of the most dangerous acts in the entire espionage franchise. In the film's climactic sequence, his character Ethan Hunt dangles from a soaring helicopter, emphasizing the extreme level of danger inherent in his on-screen endeavors. In the 1990 action thriller Days of Thunder, produced by Jerry Bruckheimer, Tom Cruise took on the role of the daring racer Cole Trickle, as he stepped into one of the stock cars and hit the track. At Volusia County Speedway near Daytona Beach, FL, Cruz aimed to replicate the maneuvers he had witnessed professional racers execute on television. However, this venture carried the potential for disaster, teetering on the edge of catastrophe. Alright, so that's the end of today's news. Thank you for watching and please, if today is your first time watching, kindly subscribe to this channel for more amazing content. Have a nice day and see you in the next video.